Hello everyone, today I wanted to go over how to do an old school style fixed camera system. So this system's really quick, it's going to take us like 30 seconds to go over it, but I wanted to show it off to you real quick. So all you gotta do, right click, create a blueprint, make it an actor class, fixed camera. So what you're going to do is go in here, you're going to click add, what you're going to do is go to box collision, and you're going to add a camera. You can do a sin camera if you want. It gives you a bit more controls over focal and everything. But I'm going to use a regular camera. So what this is, is it's a little camera. Sits in there, has a collision. And if I hit play, I won't be connected to it. So I need to set up a location for the camera. Click the camera. Uh, this is also how you make a possessable camera. So you move it to wherever you want it to be. I'm going to move it over here to the corner of the room. Why not? There we go. And with an angle, we can align our box, make it grow to the size of the room, and voila. All right, so first things first, we need to create a function. So go to my blueprint, go to your functions, create a function, name it whatever you want. All right, so with your new function, right click, get, get player controller, drag off of the return value to set view target with blend, connect the two, you would think you could connect directly to new view target, but because it's not an actual target, you'd have to create a blueprint that has a camera inside of it. There's no point in doing that. So we just drag off of this, do self, and that will allow it to connect to itself because there's already a camera in here. Then we hit compile. We want to get this new function named camera fixed. And then if we go to the original construction script, I'm mean, sorry, if we go to the event graph, we can click our box. We can scroll down to on component begin overlap, click the plus, drag off of it, and we can do we can type in cam camera fixed, and that will activate it. So what you're gonna need to do is if you want a set area to be where it starts every time, you'll want to make a du duplicate blueprint. So if I right click this and duplicate, I can go into it and I can connect event begin play to this as well. If you want to be able to set it up to where whenever they save the game, you're going to have to create a whole save system and save which one is active at that current time. So that way when they load in, it loads in that that's the one that's active, maybe have a slight delay. So it gives it a moment for the character to spawn and then the camera to, to activate. But yeah, it's as simple as that. If I delete the one that's in here, I can go ahead and just hit play. It launches me in. That small delay gives it time for the character to spawn it. So now I can go through and my other one's built the exact same way. And then I can go through there. And then you just set it up to where your boxes are where you want them to be and you align the cameras where you want them to be. And then you just use your set, have the boxes to where every time you enter in the next area, they load in through. But yeah, that's how you set up the camera system, a fixed camera system for old style games. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something and hope you have a nice day.